Hello, Gibbs families. I wasn't uh, planning on doing any videos out to you till tomorrow when I talked to you about growth mindset, and I still do plan to do that video. But this particular video is just for me acknowledging the fact that the governor did close our school building for the rest of the school year. And notice that I said they closed this school building, but not our school. And I want you to know that this has impacted all of the educators at Gibbs very deeply today. I have been running meetings all morning uh, and the meetings that I held after the announcement was made were full of lots of emotion, some tears for sure. Uh, even though we knew this was probably going to go this way, it's very different when you hear it out loud. And it's very different when you think about our situation where we have our sixth graders for just the one year. Um, there, there are, I know children very disappointed and there are certainly teachers very disappointed this afternoon. So I wanted to make sure that I got out to families and just said, um, I, I hope that you're having conversations with your sixth graders that school is not over, school is not closed, Gibbs is not closed. The building is closed, but our community is not closed. And we are going to work hard over the next nine days before May 4th, which was that original timeline for us to go back to be advancing what we are doing for our students. Um, and that can mean, that is going to mean a variety of things that will come out over the next week or so from the superintendent of schools, as well as from the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. So we will be rolling that out in, a man in manageable chunks for sixth graders and in manageable chunks for parents as well. But I did not want the evening to pass without saying to you that we're feeling it and we know you're feeling it. And here's what I do know. Because we have such a strong foundation and because we've gone slow to go fast over these past six weeks or so, we will recover from this. And we will also be able to get some things out to students that will most likely contain some newer content. Um, we are, we're putting together some plans right now for us to do some more video teaching, some video lessons that can go out to students. We're also putting plans together to increase our ability to schedule hangouts for kids. So I want every parent, every family to feel rest assured we are behind putting out a plan 100% that is going to help students stay engaged for all of May and all of June. And when you talk with your sixth graders tonight, as I said, please tell them we are thinking of them. We are sad also. I'm fielding emails, teachers are fielding emails. And the best thing that you can do for your sixth grader is tell them that you understand and your teachers understand. And we're in this together. We're gonna work on a plan and we will be out to you in even more ways to help students feel engaged in their sixth grade year. So I look forward to coming to you tomorrow with a video about growth mindset. I think it's actually very perfect that we will be talking about this topic tomorrow. It will help you to frame for your students some ways to be thinking about this closure. It's a very important skill to have. We talk a lot about it at school. So it will be feel good to be able to bring some of that into your work as you're working with your with your students at home. So I'm looking forward to that. But for now, allow your kids to process, you process, with the thought that we've got this. We're behind our students and we're behind you 100%. So I will see you in the morning with a growth mindset video. I hope that you have a wonderful evening and you're able to find some silver linings in what is happening across the globe really right now. So I wish you happiness and health and some some calm activities this evening.